Every dollar sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and your family. Buy groceries, pay school fees, renew your insurance, pay bills and more within a few taps on your phone. And you're guaranteed access to USD cash from any registered EcoCash outlet nationwide. Tell your family in the diaspora to send money with Sasai Money Transfer today. Let's fight the El Nino-induced drought together. EcoCash. Live life the EcoCash way. The views expressed by our guests in the following video are solely the opinions of our guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and or opinions of the All A7 Podcast Show. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome to another episode of our electrifying show, Genius Kids, where we get to showcase the gifted, tal talented, intelligent, and extraordinary kids here in Zimbabwe. My name is Tawonga Benyuda Mugwanyu, well known as Benny, and I'll be standing in for DJ Ola tonight. So today, you know, you know on this show, we get to showcase like the, the kids who are from the range of zero to 16 you know as long as they're geniuses like as long as they're doing something that is out of the ordinary that we that, that we know and today in the studio we have an angel with a model and not just a model she also advocates for sanitary hygiene and she also has a special talent in blowing the recorder and the trumpet and she was crowned little miss africa zimbabwe 2024. Remember last week we had little Mr. Africa. Today we had little Miss Africa Zimbabwe 2024. Welcome to Genius Kids Chikomborero. Thank you so much, Tawanga. How are you feeling? Nervous. Nervous? You have no reason to be nervous, okay? Okay. You'll be fine. Feel comfortable. This is a free space. I'm a friend actually. So this okay. will be just two friends having a conversation. Okay. Okay? Yes. Are you now better? Yeah. Okay, so um, tell me more about yourself. Who is Chikombori Nyongo? Chikombori Nyongo is a vibrant 10 year old girl from Harare province. 10 year old. Yeah. Okay. I got that right. You're a 10 year old girl from Harare province. Are you in school? Suppose you're in school. Yes. <laughs> what do you learn? I learn in Nati Junior School along Blauer Road. Nati Junior School along Blauer Road. Yes. Okay, so how many subjects do you do and which subject is your favorite? Um, my, sub my favorite subject is mathematics. <sighs> All models like mathematics or oh, it's just the two of you guys? Because last week, we also had a model, Little Miss Africa, and his favorite subject was mathematics. And today we have you, Little Miss Africa. Was the criteria mathematics and the choosing you guys? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> how do I know? Because you guys love maths. And how many subjects do you do? Um, I think 13, not really sure. 13 subjects. 10 years. Which grade? Grade 5. Grade 5. 13 subjects. 10 years. And being a model, an advocate for sanitary hygiene. Do you have friends? I'm concerned. Yeah. Do you have friends? A lot. What do you guys do during your spare time? We mostly play hockey. You play hockey? Yes. You're a hockey player? Yeah. Why hockey? 
why not basketball? Why not netball? Why not volleyball? You know, why hockey specifically? I just play hockey because it's something that everyone at our school has to play. Oh, not that it's your favorite. Yeah, it's not really my what's, favorite. What's your favorite sport? My favorite sport is basketball. Basketball. Here we go. Unless you have something in common. I'm also a basketball player. So, uh-huh. why basketball? I play basketball because I envy my sister, Agent 00, from the Anti-18 national team. Oh my goodness. Do you also aspire to be in the team? Yeah. So, what's your position like in, in, basket, in basketball? My position is striker. Striker. Hey, you guys, I'm, I'm just wondering if you guys are telling the truth, like when it comes to your age, <laughs> because the things that you know, like, do, do, you, do you actually take part in school tournaments or you just play basketball for the sake of it and, and play hockey at school because everyone is mandated to play hockey? I just play basketball for fun. For fun? Not, I don't even take part in school tournaments. Like I joined a club. You joined a club. Which yeah. club do you play for? Green Stars. Oh, okay. So you have a coach and you do your training sessions, whatever, just for fun. Yeah. But since you're playing for a club, this is business. Yeah. So I'm sure you can actually make it to the under-18 team that you're talking about. That your sister made it as part of the team. Yeah, I think so. So do you have like favorite players that you can say, ah, I look up to this one? Yeah, my favorite Basketball player is Giannis Antonio Kumpo. Hey, 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 hey. I said I was a bas- I'm a basketball player. I meant it, but hey. Just <laughs> These players that they're talking about, how did you get to know about it? Do you watch it on TV? Yeah. Oh, that's how you got to know. Like, what's your favorite basketball match so far? My favorite basketball match so far is the under-18 match between Zambia and Zimbabwe. Zambia and Zimbabwe. How was it like? It was challenging. It was challenging. <laughs> Which team won? Zambia. Hey, and you are updated. You know everything. <laughs> so if you had asked me that question, I was going to be like, yes, I don't know, maybe Zimbabwe. <laughs> because Zimbabwe is my country, of course. So what do you enjoy the most about basketball? I enjoy bas- playing basketball because it's something that I aspire to be. Oh. To do. Okay, and you know you play in teams? What do, you, what do you love about, about being part of a team? I love being part of a team because it's all about teamwork and one love. One love. Especially one love. Especially when it comes to basketball. Uh, basketball is just about teaming up, you know. How you communicate as a team. How you work together as a team. The collaboration that you have and the love that you have for each other, actually. So, um, do, you have other, do you have any interest or hobbies you have picked up from your teammates that you, that, that you work with? And other people like in the basketball world? Not yet so far. Not yet so far. Yeah. Okay, I understand. And um, when I was going through your profile, I also, I also discovered that uh, you can blow the trumpet and record. Is it true? Yeah. How? Like, how? How are you doing all these things? Can you, can you just shed more light? It's really easy if you're someone who can learn very fast. Yeah, because it's a lot of pressure. It's exactly. a lot of work. So what sparked your interest like in blowing the trumpet and the recorder? I just envied my coach, Mr. Mbato. Mr. Mbato. Yeah. He's your coach. Yeah. Is he from school? Yes. So what do you enjoy the most about playing the trumpet? It gets me to meet important people, very important the people. Tricky. Yeah. <laughs> So in, in basketball, you're telling about your position, right? When you're saying you're a striker. So when it comes to um, to uh, to playing the um, trumpet and the recorder, like, do you have techniques? Do you have positions? How do you guys, how is it like? It's solo. Solo? Yeah. It's your favorite? Yeah, mostly play solo. Oh. And, and yeah, you, are, you are a team uh, team player, and now you're playing solo. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm actually getting to understand something about you. So do you have, like, uh, favorite uh, trumpet players or musician that you can say, ah, this is my favorite, I look up to that person? My favorite player is Mr. Mbazo. From your coach? Yeah. <laughs> so your coach is your favorite? Yeah. So you're inspired by your coach? Yes. So how is your practice routine like? Do you practice every day? Do you have days of the week that you can say I practice on a Monday or on a Tuesday or on a Wednesday? Like, 
how is it like can you just take me through your practice routine i mostly practice on wednesdays during club time mm-hmm. with the help of my coach Mr. Mbatso. Hey, Mr. Mbatso. <laughs> Mr. Mbatso, your coach. I need to meet this Mr. Mbatso. He might as well become my favorite. <laughs> you never know if I, if I, if I, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll get interested and start playing. So, do you have any song that you have played before? Yes. What's your most uh, favorite and what's your, uh, what's the challenging one that you've played? The most challenging song that I've played is Spring Song by Catherine Bennett. Hey, the names that you're giving me. <laughs> I'm beginning to want. If I if I went through primary school like you, ah, oh, by the way, maybe I'm not a genius. By the way, so you're a genius. That's the difference. This is genius kids, and you're a genius. I now understand. So I'm content. <laughs> What's your favorite? The song that you've played, like you can say, this is my favorite song. Spring song is my favorite song. Oh, and it's the most challenging. Yeah. <laughs> what? So you love challenging things? Yeah. Do you love challenging yourself? Yeah. Okay, so have you played uh, in front of an audience before? And do you wish for to play if you haven't before? I have played for an audience before. Where? At the Allied Arts School. Oh, of music. you performed at the Allied Arts. I, I wish I could go back to school. You know, Allied Arts time was one of the favorite times at school. Because you get to leave the school campus, guys, <laughs> and at least go somewhere and perform, be it singing. Oh, Allied Arts. So you also go for Allied Arts. Yeah. So are there any other musical instrument that you can say I can play or I'm interested in playing? I'm interested in playing the piano. Have you started pl- playing it? Not really. Not really. But you wish to. Yeah. So Mr. Mr. Mbaz is also going to teach you. Yeah. <laughs> so he, does he like he's into music or the instruments? Yeah, he's multi-talented. So he's going, so going to be your inspiration. He's an inspiration for all this. Yeah, he plays like marimba, vira, the trumpet, the piano, the flute, many others. So I'm, I'm actually realizing that you are into music because uh, talking about the trumpet, talking about the recorder, and now we are um, talking about your interest in playing a piano. Like, how is it? How do you feel when you're playing music? Like, does it uh, evoke any emotions? How do you feel when you're playing music? I feel really peaceful. You feel peaceful? Yeah. So you love the kind of cool type of music. Yeah. Not the energetic ones. Or oh, energy, energy, energy. Which one do you like? I mostly play gospel. Gospel music. Yeah. Hey, I think I need to attend your show. If you have a show, please do let me know. Like, okay. Please do let me know. Then I'll be there. And I'll be like, I know her. She's <laughs> Little Miss Africa. I've interviewed, I've interviewed her before. And she is here playing. So do you have any goals, like dreams in the, in the music industry? What do you aspire to be? I aspire to play on the America's Got Talent live show. America's Got Talent, go girl. You, you, can, you can do it. You know that. You can go and play and represent Zimbabwe. And represent yourself as well. So you were crowned Little Miss Africa Zimbabwe 2024. This is 2024. Hi, I'm a good piece, <laughs> <laughs> What made you decide to be a model? Like, how did you get, is, is this a, was this your first pageant? Yeah. Like, how did you decide to be into modeling? I used to model in front of the mirror at home. <laughs> <laughs> and then my mom just saw how passionate I was about modeling. Mm-hmm. Then she enrolled me into a pageant. So she's very supportive. Yeah, a lot. Then you went from Little Miss Africa yeah. and you made it. Yeah. How was the preparation process like? Did you now model in front of the mirror frequently or in front of your mom or in front of your parents? I modeled in front of my parents. In front of your parents? Yeah. Then in front of an audience. Like, you know, when you go for pageants, there's just a lot of people. So your family is supporting you. You mentioned like your mom, my mom, my mom. So your family was very supportive in this. Yeah, they were very supportive. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's actually, you are blessed. Like, you're very lucky to have parents who can support you in modeling. Because parents, African parents, <laughs> tell them you want to do modeling. They'll be like, what? What? Not school. <laughs> <laughs> so in this day of the pageant, like, how were you feeling? Your emotions? Did you have any anxiety? You know, you're competing. This is a competition. Like, you are modeling in front of people now, not in front of the mirror or in front of your parents, but now it's in front of a whole lot of audience. Anxiety was okay, Mm -hmm. but the anxiety was increased by the crowd because Mm -hmm. 
or eyes are cleared at me. <laughs> so how were you feeling about com- about it competing with other kids? Yes. I felt really nervous. You felt really nervous? Yeah. But you made it. When you announced the win, how did you feel? I felt out of this world. I felt like I was on cloud nine. <laughs> you were not expecting it. Yeah. I bet your parents were very happy. Yeah. So you're a celebrity. <laughs> Are you not a celebrity? <laughs> I should be bragging about your celebrity. <laughs> celebrity, celebrity, celebrity. So during practice and pageants, like, how did you handle feedback, you know? People can actually be like, ah, you know, you're not doing so well on this. Can you try to improve? Like, it can be either um, good feedback or bad or constructive feedback. Like, how did you handle that? I was emotionally prepared to handle feedback. How did you pre- prepare emotionally? You know, it was my first time mm-hmm. on a pageant, so... I didn't care if the feedback was positive or negative. I just wanted to win. You just wanted to win. My goal was to win. Uh, so you did not bother yourself? like. No, I did not bother myself. It didn't really get to, to my heart. Mm. So what is one challenge that you faced, like, you know, when we're um, practicing for modeling, be it this, um, yeah, this is, this is your first, right, you mentioned? Yeah. So is there a challenge that you faced and how did you overcome the challenge that you faced? You know, modeling requires a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that stuff needs funding. (laughs) So, yeah, money. (laughs) That was the challenge that you faced. Yeah. But but at least your parents were very supportive. And here we are. You know, today we are here. You are wearing the crown. You're only 10 years in grade 5. And you're a model. Little Miss Africa, Zimbabwe. 2024. So, you know, what the challenge How did you overcome that challenge, though? Um, I had a lot of people funding me. Mm-hmm. My grandmother, my parents, my uncles, my aunts, a lot of people. So, your family is just supportive. Yeah. They're, it's they're, your family that's very supportive. Yeah. So, right now, if you actually decide that I want to take this, ca- this career, I want to be like, you know, you're into, you into basketball. You want to be a basketball player who is also a model. I'm sure they're going to be supporting you, isn't it? Yeah, they're very supportive. Oh, Okay, um, it's actually I'm 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 enjoying and I'm learning and I'm I'm being pressured to be a model as well. <laughs> Do you think I can be one? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Okay, uh, we are interviewing Little Miss Africa Zimbabwe twenty twenty four Chikombore Ronyongo, and we are about to take a short break. Every dollar sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and and your family buy groceries pay school fees renew your insurance pay bills and more within a few taps on your phone and you're guaranteed access to usd cash from any registered eco cash outlet nationwide tell your family in the diaspora to send money with sasai money transfer today let's fight the el nino induced drought together eco cash live life the eco cash way Welcome back from the break. Today we are interviewing Little Miss Africa Zimbabwe 2024 Chikombo Rero Nyongo as we get to know about her journey in modeling and other hobbies that she participates in and whatever that whatever uh, Chikombo Rero is into. Um, welcome back Chikombo Rero. Thank you so much. So right before the break you're talking about the challenge that you faced and I'm glad you actually managed to overcome that challenge. So when it comes to modeling, right, like you go for photo shoots, you do those poses, whatever, whatever. So do you have a favorite photographer you, you work with or that you've been working with before that you can say, this is my photographer. Whenever I need to take nice pictures, this is the person that I approach. Yeah, my favorite photographer is Mockliff from Mockliff. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah, from my school. From your school? Yeah. Ah, ah, is this person a student? No. Oh, a teacher? No, he's a photographer. He's just a photographer? Yeah. So you also work with him even when it comes to business not related to school? Mm, not really. 
I haven't worked with him. Relate something related to modeling. I haven't. So. Oh, but I'm sure you will. Eh? Yeah, you'll get one. <laughs> yeah. So do you have like uh, you've had a photo shoot in a really unique uh, setup in a unique location before? Yeah, I have had a. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I've had a photo shoot in a really neat location, and the location was Trotbeck Hotel. Trotbeck Hotel in Nyanga. Hey, so you had a photo shoot there? Yeah. How was that like? How was the photo shoot? It was great. You know, when the place is nice, you also feel really nice inside. Was that your favorite photo shoot? Yeah. So you created your memories, right? Yeah, a lot. Your favorite memory. What's your favorite? Like that you can say, this is my favorite memory from this photo shoot at Trotback. Um, I have an Instagram account. So there's this lady who came to me. She wanted my autograph. <laughs> Serious? Yeah. After the photo shoot. <laughs> hey. Because you're seeing potential in you. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of potential. You're doing a lot of things, you know. It's just a lot that you're involved in. So do you have any role models in the modeling industry that you can see, this is my people, this is the people that I look up to, like, or oh, this is the person that I look up to when it comes to modeling? Yeah, my role model is Pauline Marere. Pauline! Miss Environment. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like, what inspires you? Like, how, how, how does she inspire you? She has a great catwalk. Exactly. She was also the Miss Universe 2023. Mm. And... I just liked the goal that she had. And I also wish, I also would like to have the same goal. Like Pauline. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hey, hey, hey. So, you know, when it comes to, to modeling, people, are, people wear a lot of makeup. They get their hair done. Like, do you also do that? Yeah. See, your hair is done nicely. So what do you love the most about getting your hair done, getting getting your makeup? Do you wear makeup? <laughs> no. <that>. Not yet. <laughs> you haven't worn makeup before. Yeah. So you're just natural like that. Yeah. But you get your hair done, isn't it? Yeah. Like, what's your favorite? You know, mm -hmm. my hairdresser makes sure that she does a, a really good job. You know, mm -hmm. she makes me look extraordinary. Okay. So we talked about, like, your favorite photo shoot that you had in a really unique location. So do you have, have you ever had like a photo shoot that you can say this is the most fun photo shoot that I've ever had? The photo shoot that I recently had mm -hmm. of my head shorts, full shorts, portraits, mm -hmm. and other stuff. It was the most fun photo shoot that I've ever had because I met other models. I met Mackenzie. Mm -hmm. I met Josh. You know, a lot of people. And the photo shoot? Yeah. Was it for just the winners? Yes. Was I talking about Josh? I had Josh last week. <laughs> and I know that one is a winner just like yourself. So do you have a favorite outfit or a costume that you can say, this is my favorite and I've worn it um, for a shoot or maybe you haven't worn it for a shoot before, but it's your favorite? Yeah, I do have one. What's your favorite? It's like an Elsa dress, but then in a modern mix. Elsa dress. <laughs> hey. So dress have names. <laughs> Elsa. Isn't that in a person's name? Yeah, the dress that she wears, but then in a, another type, in another mixture. I'm, wonder, I'm wondering what this Elsa is. <laughs> so what's the, what's the best thing that you can say this is the best thing about being front, in front of the camera? You know, being a model, you're always in front of the camera, you're never behind. <laughs> I only love it because I'm always the center of attention. Center of attention? What was an attention? You guys... <laughs> So you're, you're, already, you're already an influencer, my guy. <laughs> Trust me. Well, whatever that I'm going to say, whatever. That, if you try to motivate people right now, if you try to advocate for something, right? Like you're already advo ad advocating for sanitary hygiene, you know. So people will be looking up to you. They'll be there to listen to whatever that you say because you're a model. And you're the center of attention. <laughs> like what you just said. So have you met other um, cool models before? We talked about Pauline Marere being like your role model, right? Yes. Do you have models that you can say? These are the cool models or maybe photographers in the industry. Yes, I have met some cool models and photographers. Are you a cool one as well? <laughs> I'm not really sure. <laughs> You're not a cool model? I think so. You think so? Yeah. 
Okay, so um, but I think you're a cool model. Do you think so? I think so. Ah, uh, you're a cool model, my guy. You've met other cool models, but you're also um um a cool model. So when it comes like to the way you sit, I can see there's a posture. You're sitting like this. Okay. I, I think I can copy that as well. Like, what inspires that? How do you get to sit like that? Because yeah, you're not just sitting like me, my hands are everywhere. You know, I'm just doing anything. But when it comes to you, you're like this. I believe just this. I believe that a lady should sit properly. <laughs> you're saying I wasn't sitting properly. <laughs> I'm not really saying that. <laughs> so what are you saying? So you, you're always like this. Yeah. That's how you sit. Is that what is is that what you learned like at your bootcamp? You guys attend bootcamps, right? Yes. For modeling. So you were taught to sit like this. Yeah. All the time, mm-hmm. like this, and your your legs. Is it like right over left or left over right? <laughs> <laughs> I bet in your head you're like this girl doesn't know these simple things. You're like this. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be like this too in the show. I'll be sitting like you. So that's how a lady should sit. Or would you sit like that? Or is it just you? I think all of them. All of because them. all of those that I've met sit like this. It clearly shows that I'm not a model. <laughs> <laughs> because I just sit. I just sit. I, I tried. Did I not try to sit like a model? You tried. <laughs> I tried, but I cannot take it anymore. It's so actually like the way you sit, you know. There's something. You, you sit with confidence. Like, like I'm a model. I'm the boss. <laughs> I'm here. I'm the center of the attention. Hey, so how do you get to balance like your school and uh, your modeling journey? And you also talked about you being a sanitary hygiene advocate. Like how do you manage all that? How do you get to balance, to create a balance? Yeah, I'm first, I do my academics mm-hmm. until three o'clock. Mm-hmm. Then I go to, um, to practice Mm-hmm. With the help of Pauline Marere. You actually go with Pauline? Yeah, she also so, practices. Ah, she's a role model and she's your coach. Yeah. Ah, there's, there's a bias there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're, 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 you're trained by the best, actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then after practice, I do my homework in the evening. Eat dinner, then I go to sleep. And me, it's being your favorite subject. I'm sure you always pass in school. <laughs> you're a genius. That's why you're here. You're a genius. You pass? Yeah. Hey. When I grow up, I want to be like you. I should already grow up. <laughs> Not, when I grow up, I want to be like you. Trust me. I want to be like you when I grow up. Okay. So tell me, what's your favorite thing to do when you're not um, into modeling? Like someone uh, in the comment section is asking, like, what do you like doing when you're not into modeling? I mostly play basketball when you're not playing basketball read books when you're not reading books <laughs> watch television watch television so your favorite is basketball mm. if not basketball reading books if not reading books which books do you love reading um one of my favorite books is the lion and show me your light show me your light yeah some of these books <laughs> also, I also read books, but but whatever that you're telling me, I thought there was a basketball player. So they're telling me this person that I don't know. You're telling me about books. I also read books. You're telling me about this book that I have no idea about. And I think I've read a lot of books, you know. And you're just telling me new things. At least I'm getting to learn. That's that's why I said when I grow up, I want to be like you. <laughs> because you know I'll get to read books like The Light. You say The Light? The Light. The Show of the Light. The Show of the Light. Who is the author? It's, I forgot the name. You forgot the name. Yeah, but he actually came to our school about one month ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, you are lucky, my guy. And, and you are very talented. You are a genius. That's why you are here. I'm, I'm not understanding where you are on our show. Because you are, you are a genius. And the books that are telling me that you read, it means that you are getting something from those books, you know. So, um, do you have any advice? Um, for kids like your age, you want to be models? Anything that you can say? You know what? If you want to be a model, you can do A, B, C, or I. From the journey that I've walked, because you've done it before, you already you already have a title. Maybe something that you want to say. Don't 
don't be just beautiful but be a beauty with brains hey don't be just beautiful be a beauty with brains use your use your beauty for something at least yeah and i'm loving how you're using your beautiful advocating for sanitary hygiene um even playing basketball playing hockey reading books at least trying uh, to use your beauty for something not just being beautiful for no reason <laughs> so i'm almost going to try to do something you know <laughs> obviously not modeling because i could not even sit like a model <laughs> This is just sitting. It's just a posture sitting. I could not. So what's your biggest dream for your modeling career? And where do you see yourself in the future, maybe in the next five years? I see myself representing Zimbabwe mm -hmm. universal wide. Representing Zimbabwe. Man, I wave. <laughs> so yeah, tell me just one um, little Miss Africa. Like what's next? What are you going to do? Are you going anywhere next to say, okay, I've won Little Miss Africa Zimbabwe 2024, so I'm going to be representing Zimbabwe in, uh, maybe there's Little Miss Africa Global. I don't know. Tell me. Uh, we're going to have a pageant next year mm. in April in Egypt. So Josh is also going and you're also going. Mm. Guys, I'll be with you. Trust me. Yeah, I'll be there to support come. you. If you leave me, make sure you tell your coach that Tahonga wants to come with me. If you come, but then you have to make me win. I have to make you win? How can yeah. I make you win? <laughs> You'll be shouting my name. I'll be shouting your name. <laughs> is, it about, is it about the loudest noise? Or it's about how good you are? It's about both. You know, mm -hmm. how many people love you mm -hmm. and how good you are. So people get to vote. Yeah. So for the um, Little Miss Africa, like the one that you're going for um, in Egypt next year, so you can actually vote for you. Yeah, there's going to be an online vote. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when it's open, you know what? Mm. You tell me, right? You also tell DJ Ola, like DJ Ola, please, please ask your people to vote for me because I want to win this. Because you, 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 you gave me clearly my goal. I should be there to make you what? Yeah. To make you win. So you have to try. I have to try by all means as well. My networks are like, guys, you know what? We need you to win. And everyone should know that you win. Right. So any parting words? Not really. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Maybe even to me or to the people who are watching. Remember we're live. There are people in the comment section. There are people watching you. You never know your grandmother. Maybe she's actually watching right now. <laughs> and your mother at home. I'd like to say thank you so much to my family for supporting me with my modeling journey. Oh, your family. Ah, thank you very much. Ah, it was lovely having you. I enjoyed the conversation. Okay. That was Little Miss Africa Zimbabwe 2024. And it's been fun having you on the one and only show, Genius Kids. Keep those, keep those geniuses coming through as this is the show just for them. Catch us next week, same time, same place. My name is Benny. And as the geniuses are starting their exams, I wish them all the best. Next time. Every dollar sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and your family, buy groceries, pay school fees, renew your insurance, pay bills, and more within a few taps on your phone. And you're guaranteed access to USD cash from any registered EcoCash outlet nationwide. Tell your family in the diaspora to send money with Sasai Money Transfer today. Let's fight the El Nino induced drought together.
EcoCash. Live life the EcoCash way. It's the little things that make us giants in our industry. We put in that extra mile of service so your car can go that extra mile of performance. Our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home. Giant Petroleum. Limitless Energy.